Right, time to find out a bit more about the magic going on underneath my fingers and my face. Now, let's talk to the creator of the eye bar, Thomas Jensen. Thomas, welcome to Click. You. Did you have to call it the eye bar? Surely, have an Apple copyrighted the letter I by now? Well, it's an impressive bar. It's inter in an interactive bar, and I think we were there just before it got really mad with the eye. With the mm, iPod. I'm sure we'll have letters. I think so. About that. So, we what kind of thing can you do with this? This is a uh, an interactive surface. We uh, we at Mindstorm specialize in surface solutions to make them interactive. This is a. Uh, an example for a, a bar, which is uh, very appropriate for nightclubs and, and, and those sort of uh, drink serving environments. And you've got all sorts of fun patterns that you can. What we do here, what we look at here is the, is the connectivity, it's the starting point. We could, uh, and we do show all sort of corporate logos to promote uh, those sort of brands who, who hire us and have these as a, uh, making an experience for the, for the customers. Alternatively, we could have, for example, uh, water effects like this, where you leave an impression behind and you can have sort of rings in the water for ambience. Uh, alternative to this could be uh, a, a more visual stimulating things. We are today, of course, using flowers and we're using bees instead of our normal corporate sort of facilities because it, it, it's, it's Because it's the BBC, it you know. obviously right. Yes. Alternative, the last one to show, this is um, where you have flowers and you have small animated objects, in this case butterflies, that are kind of following you around. Those butterflies. And this, this works really well for having for example, in this case, some sort of logo following you to your glass and to your destination. Okay, uh, how does it work? It's in principle pretty simple. Uh, what you're looking at here is like you, uh, a screen coming off with a projector. Anything that comes out of the projector, we can produce here. It is a projector be below. When you put your hand above it, you reflect some of that light back into the cabinet. And we have a little camera that picks up where the light is, and that's why we figure out where you are. And it can recognize different shapes as well, if you wanted yes. to. Yes, um, we can recognize contours of course your hand is different from my hand and any other object we put on top here will look different to some extent we can track them contours and identify them and that way we can do recognition of different ones but we are working on making that a lot more sophisticated by using rfid tagging and that, and that sort of thing so this is a quite a fun environment and obviously we're in a bar so people want lots of flashing patterns and stuff but you've investigated other th other things that you can do with these surfaces as well yes we we, we look at surfaces and the bars of course a surface uh, tables are similar surfaces that are quite uh, common but we have surfaces all around us we have walls we have floors uh, and, and we can make all these type of dull surfaces come alive. And we think, although it may sound a bit scary, it's going to be quite exciting going forward. It's going to make my brain explode, Thomas. Wherever you go, wherever you go, it's going to be coming at you. It's going to grab your attention. It's going to want you to touch it. And it wants you to kind of go and stick your hand on it. It's going to tell you all sorts of things about the products that's available at the time. And more and more, you will be able to use your fingers and just your normal self to interact with computers far more uh, sort of easily than you do today where you tend to have a mouse or a keyboard.